Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Nook. Today is January 1st, 2018. Feels very weird saying that. Um, just because it's the whole new year and everything like that. My hair is a complete and total wreck. Um, yeah, it's been a really busy morning. We got up at like 5.30 this morning to go do family related stuff and grocery shop and all that fun stuff that you do as an adult. But yes, so... Rambly time over. This is going to be my monthly wrap-up video for December. Uh, this month I got through 28 books, because I think I counted one book twice. So 28 books. Um, that brings the yearly total this year to 155 books. My goal for the entire year was 50. I will say that I feel like I cheated because a lot of these books are graphic novels that I got through this month and this year. I did most of the entire Fables series earlier in the year before my booktube channel started. Um, but yeah, so reading-wise, it's been a great year. Uh, December was a great end of it. And yeah, so let me stop rambling so much and just tell you guys what I read. My links to the weekly wrap-up videos will be in the description box below because I'm just going to tell you guys what I read without going into too much detail. And if you want more detail, you can check out the links below. So with that, my six five-star reads this month were Sleeping Giants. This is book two. Yes, I realized that. But Sleeping Giants by Sylvan Nouvelle. Awesome read. Finished it in like a day. It was it was that good. This one kind of can't get into. Um... I did Iron Kiss, audiobook by Patricia Briggs. I This was a five-star read. The fourth book in the series, Bone Cross, was a five-star read. Also did that one via audiobook, which is why I don't have a physical copy of it to show you. Um, great continuation of the series, and I'm waiting on book five to come through Overdrive. Next up, I had five-star graphic novel this month was Piper by Jay Asher and Jessica Freeberg. This is a retelling of the Ham Pied Piper of Hamlin. Um, very good artwork, good story, great story actually. Very interesting twist and take on the Pied Piper story that we grew up with. Then the final five star read this month was let's see if I can pull it up. The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. This just came out this month. I was very surprised my library had it. And it came in before the end of the month. It was great. Not as good as The Bear and the Nightingale. But still very, very good. Alright, so that's on my five stars. So six five star reads. That's out of 28 books. That's, that's pretty good. Because we did have a caveat. Not a caveat. We had a rare occurrence happen this month. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, four star reads this month. I don't have a picture of it. But Pretty Deadly, Volumes 1 and Volumes 2. The Wicked and the Divine, Volumes 1, 4, and 5. I really like the storyline in this one. This is book, Volume 1. Um, I like the storyline in this one. The fourth one kind of pulls it all together. And then the fifth one, I really, really want to pick up the sixth one this month just to see what happens. Um, I did... Come on, pictures... Sorry, I'm trying to do this in order. The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon. Really good. I, I really like the audiobook on that one. Um, the Girl Before by Rena Olsen. Very interesting psychological book. I don't normally do psychological books, but this one was pretty good. Lumberjanes Volume 2 and Volume 3 were both four-star reads this month. And then we had The Rat Queens Volumes... One, two, and four. And... Oh, crap. I forgot a five-star read. Songs of Willow Frost by Jamie Ford. I finished this audiobook on Sunday, Saturday. And this was the last book of the month. I really liked this audiobook. It was great. Jamie Ford apparently is going to be one of those authors for me that cannot write crappy books. I really liked it. But, um... I think that's all my... Four and five star reads. My three star reads are a little bit weird. So let's just start with 
I don't have Paper Girls Volume 3. I liked Paper Girls Volumes 1 and 2. I read those in November. But Volume 3, I don't know. Something about the storyline and the arc that they did, I'm not fully feeling it. But I will continue the series just to continue the series because it's Brian Bond. Who, again, is one of those authors that and writers that I don't think I'm not going to like what they put out. Somebody said Saga Volume 8 is extremely preachy and, well, not preachy, but very politically driven. To me, that's what Saga is, is very politically driven. And it, it's a good storyline. I love it. So, but Paper Girls, I just, I couldn't... Uh, three stars this month. Also three stars. The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 2 and Volume 3. Um, volume 2, just... And then the artwork for Volume 3, I just... I, yeah. For some reason, in some graphic novels, Volume 3's artwork changes. I don't know if that's because they pick up a different um, artist, or if they just want to introduce somebody new during that volume. It's Sometimes it works. With Lumberjanes, it worked. I love the artwork better in Volume 3 than Volume 1 and 2. With Wicked and the Divine, the artwork for Volume 3 was just not what I had expected. Same thing with Rat Queens. Volume 3 was good, but it was a three-star read because the artwork was so... wasn't what I was expecting to see in that volume. And I know that that is a really crappy reason to downrate a book if the storyline is good, to my opinion. Sorry, guys. Alright, so with that, um, the audiobook for three stars, Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. I think I rated this before the first time I read it physically, but listening to it, three. I, I don't even have a better reason than that, just a three. And then the last three star book that I have is, I don't think I have a picture of it. Come on, I know I got a lot of, there we go. Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White. Um, this probably should be a two. The only saving grace that saves this from being a two is the interesting way that she writes the... It, it's, about, it's about two pantheons, and I like the ending of it and the way she kind of twisted it. It was very... It was a good book. It wasn't greatly written, and I wish you could have expanded on some of it, some pieces of it. And I think the love story was just very dry. I guess might be a good way to put that, but dry. Um, yeah, could could have done. For my personal opinion, it could have been fleshed out maybe a little bit more. But yeah, so. And then, something that hasn't happened on this channel before is I actually had a two-star read this month. It hurt to finish this book. It really hurt. And I know I just said that Chaos of the Stars could have been a two-star. This one was really bad. I could not, did not want to finish this book. I finished it because I wanted to say that I finished it. It was just, yeah, slightly brutal. I, I'm not even going to go into further detail on that one, but slightly brutal. All right, so those are the books that I read. The books that I returned this month, unstart, not started at all, meaning I did not even open a cover, start the audiobook, anything like that. Lo the Lost Girls by Various Artists, that's the story of the three women that go four continents, and traveling and things like that. Didn't start it, did return it to the library this week, though. Um, Ken Follett's The World Without End. I audiobook returned it because I wanted to pick up something else. One Day, same thing. One Day by David Nichols. 
same thing. Audiobook, wanted to pick up something else, or something else came through. I think Stormfront came through. And I ended up returning Stormfront or something. Anyway, One Day Didn't Get Read, Stormfront by Jim Butcher, audiobook, didn't get read because I couldn't pick it up because I lost my phone. So those are the four returned books not started. DNF books this month, guys. Um, I talked about this in my weekly wrap-up video that I posted yesterday for December 31st. Dark Prince by Christine Feehan. Got to the same part that I always get to, and I stopped. Just um, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This one is a continuation companion series to the Shadowhunters series. Um, probably saying that wrong. I never read a Cassandra Clare novel. This audiobook was probably not the best place for me to start. So, but I will pro I will try to pick that back up sometime later this year, in 2018. Um, same thing with Fall of Giants by Ken Follett. Awesome, very well written, just not in the mindset of handling and dealing with listening to World War One. And the people that the people that Ken wrote about in this in that trilogy, great people. Just the atmosphere is so similar to experiences that I've heard about recently and some things that I've seen recently that I'm not I'm not prepared for that yet. So I will get to that sometime later this year. Same thing with The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. I want I want to read it because it's my Z book. I think it's my Z book this year. Um, just not ready for it yet. Um, the Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Morgenstern. I think I talked about this yesterday in my weekly wrap-up video about synopsis not being, not accurately portraying what the book is about. So uh, for me, that book is not what the synopsis said it was going to be. And that the synopsis is what I was looking for in that book. Maybe it gets better further on down the line. I think I got like two hours into it and I returned it in favor for something else. Um, the last DNF book that I had this month, I think it's the last one. I hope it's the last one and then I'll, I'll go away. Um, See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt. This was the Lizzie Borden novel and it follows four or five different people. And you kind of know who did it, and I don't really remember why I put it down. I just, I think I stopped because reading it was very difficult. Not difficult. It just wasn't a book that I was into when I was reading it. And I was going to go back to it, and I never did, and my holds were up. So I will try to pick that back up in 2018. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. Because I do have a lot of books so far in 2018 to get through. Um, that I'm forcing myself, not forcing, that I would like to get to. Um, I think I've got a book list of about 100 books so far in 2018. And that doesn't include the, the to-be-read list that I've already got going for January. So 2018 is going to be a lot. But these are my December books that I got through. Um... Again, links to the weekly wrap-up videos will be in the description box below, along with the full list of books that I just talked about. So you guys can check them out if you want to, or just see what I talked about today. So hope you guys have a are having a great start to the new year, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys.